All right, so let's see how we can use these key terms. I'm going to write a, another while loop that was pretty similar to the original one we saw. So first we need to initialize a variable and say n is equal to 5. Then I'm going to write my while loop. And my condition is going to be if it's greater than 0, then I'm going to execute the block of code below. So first thing we did was decrement n by 1. And now this is where I'm going to include a conditional statement, my if statement. If n is equal to 2, I'm actually going to break out of my block. But if it does not equal 2, then I'm going to continue on and I'm going to print n, just like before. Now this next piece right here is going to execute once the while loop is finished normally. Now I'm just going to print loop is finished. All right. So take a minute to think about what is going to happen, and then we'll run it and see if you're right. All right, let's see. All right, so what I see now is that I printed those first two like I did before. I have four and I have three. But whenever n, over here we can see n is currently equal to two, it ran into this if statement and it actually broke out of that code entirely. And it went down to the first statement after the while loop, which is loop is finished. So now I'm going to simply change this word break to continue. Now let's see what happens when I run this code with the word continue. All right, so we see now I have 4 and 3 still. I don't have 2, but I did continue on and have 1 and 0. And then once that loop was exhausted, I then printed my loop is finished. So let's look at this step by step with our debugger. So first we're going to initialize our variable to 5, and I'm going to do just like I did before. So 5 is greater than 0, so it returns true. 4 does not equal 2, so this returns false, so it's not going to execute that code. But it is going to go ahead and jump to the next line, which is to print in. But this is still inside of my loop, so I'm going to then jump back up to the top of my loop and check if the condition is still true. So I'll continue to do this until I get to 2. Now when n equals 2, this is going to return true. And if this returns true, my if statement is going to start. So if this returns true, I'm going to jump into my if statement and it says continue. So what's going to happen is I actually jump back up to my while loop and I check my condition. And here, I see that it's still true, so I'm going to continue on. And that's why I get the 1 next, and I left out 2, was because it never actually reached the print in.